Hey guys, it's Perry Angela Wickham and Kathy Abba of BlueBonnetLove.com and we are doing our Blue Bonnet Bloom status update. Uh, it is Thursday, March 24th, 2016. We're going to make this really short because we are filming on the road and we never know when we will get disconnected with our video on the iPhone. Here's the scoop, guys. Everybody hit the road this weekend. We should be blooming from Houston all the way up into the DFW. Um, Brenham, good to go. Brenham, some uh, highlight fields would be the field on Paintbrush Road located behind Phillips Veterinarian Hospital. Be on the north side of Highway 290 between Chapel Hill and Brenham. Also, FM 105 between Brenham and Navasota heard that was nice and Old Independence Road which runs parallel to FM 50 between Brenham and Independence that's north of in, uh, Brenham otherwise get out there and see the blue bonnets they should be blooming nicely San Antonio haven't really been able to see much chatter you guys should have lots of blue bonnets on the west side of town we go check that out also go check out the poppies in Castroville absolutely uh, gorgeous and stunning for the Austin area, lots and lots of beautiful pictures coming out of McKinney Falls State Park. Get on down there. That's southeast of Austin, real close to the South Austin area. Um, let's see. Texas Hill Country. We'll come back to that, Texas Hill Country. If not, it'll be in our Day 3 update for our Blue Bonnet Frolic. That's where we're at right now. We're on Highway 71. Texas Hill Country is a go. Uh... Highway 281, do not judge the hill country from 281 because it doesn't look that great. Highway 71 looks nice. Highway 29 between Lano and Castell on the way to Mason, absolutely OMG, get on Highway 29 west of Lano. Looks stunning, right? FM 23 from Lano to the Lano County line, stunning. Okay, wait, stunning or really nice? really no stunning in some places uh thick and juicy blue bonnets with indian paintbrushes guys it is indian paintbrushes year out here it's everywhere so it looks really nice the blues and the reds um waco haven't heard much chatter for you guys so get on out this weekend and find your blue bonnet fields ennis you guys ennis only roadside blooms their fields are not blooming even ennis is telling us you guys want to hold off okay but if you gotta go, they've got their maps online and the visitor center will be open as well. So make sure you guys know where to go. Do not expect rolling hills of blue bonnets in Ennis yet. They're still saying their peak will be the second week of April, okay? They do have plans. So that means we're just having to be patient. Uh, Dallas, Fort Worth. Unfortunately, we have not been able to watch the Facebook feed very well while we've been on the road and when we come into the hotel exhausted. So I'm not sure about the chatter in Dallas. Uh, typical places, Cedar, Cedar Hill State Park, Spur 408, J.C. Penney Field in Plano, Plano, <laughs> Plano, <laughs> Plano, sorry y'all. Um, and then Blue Bonnet Hill uh, uh, south of Wiley, somebody check it out. But other than that, I haven't heard much chatter for you guys. But then that could be because I haven't been able to read the reports. Fort Worth, you guys are having blue bonnets. So go to the Facebook page, click through the timeline and the visitors post, guys. And people are reporting for the Fort Worth area. My God, y'all haven't had blue bonnets in so long. So I'm happy for you. Um, Texas Hill Country. Okay, that's it for the rest of the state. As I said, you guys get out for Easter weekend. Those of you traveling into the state for the end of the month, you're still okay. So everybody calm down. But the sooner you can get here, the better. All right? So in the Texas Hill Country is go-go. Yes. Come on out. Um, I already told them about 29, 20, 23, 23. Oh, Highway 16 to Fredericksburg. Oh, my gosh. FM 965 from the north end of it where it meets Highway 16 all the way to Enchanted Rock State Park. Gorgeous with blue bonnets and Indian paintbrushes. But as soon as you go south of Enchanted Rock on FM 965 to Fredericksburg, nothing. 
So those of you that are staying in Fredericksburg and you're taking roads out, you got to be patient. I'll tell you what, it's as soon as you cross the Llano County line and that tells me that it's the highway, maybe I shouldn't say anything, it's, the, it's how you manage the vegetation that's telling you where to go. Um, so anyhow, I, we, I gotta give Kathy some directions. Okay, we didn't miss our turnoffs again. So yes, people coming to the Texas Hill Country, get out here as soon as you can. There are areas where the grasses have gotten a little ahead of them. And there are areas where, especially FM 2323, those are the tallest ones we've seen so far right and they're well ahead of the grasses and they're young they still have immature heads on them so we got this weekend for sure and as long as the weather holds out nicely and they get a little more rain and we don't get those high winds we've been having the last couple of days I would think they should still be good for next weekend as well okay but to everyone that has flexible travel rain travel arrangements get here as soon as you can all right so that should wrap it up we'll do another video for that's more specific as to what we did today um, we'll probably get that out tomorrow morning we are having a lot of technical difficulties getting our videos out so we apologize and we have so many people on the Facebook page now it is very hard to moderate and read you want to be in the right hand lane um, and to read everybody's reports and and posting so you guys need to do the work you gotta go through the timeline and you have to look at the visitors posts we're gonna take it right um, to see what everyone's reporting so other than that we're saying good night goodbye from the Texas Hill Country and we will do another daily frolic report for tomorrow Friday March 25th you guys have a great weekend see you next time